friends, I'm Dean Vegan. <laughs> I'm always dancing. And today is a main cauliflower rice. That's one of my most amazing vegetables we have. It's called a cruciferous vegetable. They have super health benefits, but you eat, they have to eat them raw or they need a special treatment. But usually the raw is easy and you can have a small amount of this cauliflower, this raw cauliflower, and it's so satisfying. And it even keeps you from craving other foods. Sometimes we have eaten enough, obviously, in a meal, and a short moment later, begin to crave something, eating, eating more. Um, that's very personal, of course. But the funny thing I noticed with cauliflower, raw cauliflower, this doesn't happen anymore. So it's a staple definitely worth uh, compared to potato. It's even better than potato. You can replace a potato with a raw cauliflower in your life. It's really it's true. But today I'll make another variation of the endless variations with a nice curry cream dressing. I have made that in other recipes. I'll show you quickly how it works. It's a handful of cashews. That's the usual uh, measurement for one um, dressing for one person. A handful of cashews. Yeah. And a half a lemon. Yeah. That might be for some dressings too much sour flavor. Yeah, half a lemon here, um, peeled. Medium sized lemon. Because um, that depends on the dressing, uh, on, the, on the salad you make. And so if a half a lemon is too much or not, you have to check it out. But I'm going to today put a banana into that. Yeah, here a whole banana, not too big, to balance the sweetness and the creaminess because blending cashews and bananas and nuts and bananas in general, it's a very nice uh, texture, very silky creaminess. Okay, that's the base. And now I have the flavor part, yeah, pepper and salt here, each amount, even amount, a teaspoon each, a garlic clove, a clove of garlic, and a huge amount of curry powder. You see, this is curry powder. Two tablespoons or so. You can take a lot. Depends on this, uh, on the, on how hot your curry powder is. The main ingredient in curry powder is turmeric. The yellow color, the orange color, comes from turmeric. And that's the other of the healthiest spices we have. It's a, there are thousands of serious medical studies about turmeric. It really can heal cancer and. Um, it's very anti-inflammatory, but you have to use this together with fat or black pepper, otherwise it goes out of the body again without working. So I have black pepper in here, I have some fat in here, so I'm, I'm fine. The base of my dressing is ready, yeah? and I'll put some water in there, not too much to begin with, maybe, maybe half a cup or so, yeah? and I can always add some water later. Yeah? After the second blending, I'll tell you about that later. Yes. I don't need to blend it to the end because the second blending will come anyway because the cashews have not been soaked so they can soak now for some minutes while I prepare the other ingredients and that time um, they soak a little bit and then I blend them a second time and that will be perfect. Let the taste now. Check the flavor. Oops. Mm. 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 That's a perfect flavor. Perfect. I'll wait for a moment. I have to add a little bit more water. It's a little bit too thick, as I thought. So in, in general, finally we'll have one cup of water in there. For you to know. So that sits for a while while I prepare the other ingredients, the main ingredients of the salad. So my salad, my recipes always have three parts. Either three ingredients, that's the very simple recipes, because three makes for a new complex flavor. Two ingredients, you can either you can taste either of them, but with three, it's a very complex variety of possibilities how to uh, coordinate these three inside. So three is a new flavor in general. So three parts. First part was um, the dressing I show you. Second part is the cauliflower, and to make the cauliflower rice, I have an S blade fitted into my food processor, that's the best tool to make cauliflower rice in two seconds. If you don't have one, you can also uh, grate the cauliflower with the grater. Yeah. Here the, these are the florets, 
Yeah, it's a fresh cauliflower, raw, yeah, just the florets. Yeah, you have a, a quarter of a cauliflower, medium size, yeah, not the big stems, a little bit too harsh for the rice. But you can also take that, that doesn't matter. Yeah. So a quarter, quarter cauliflower, florets, and two seconds. Maybe three or four seconds. One round of dancing with a better measurement. And now you see the rice, how beautiful it is. That's a rice-like texture, right? And that's nice because, you know, I, I, I like cauliflower so much because it's, um, it tastes a little bit harsh if you put it into a salad like that. But um, if you eat a florette by itself, it's nice. But in a salad, it changes the flavor. So you would have some other ingredients. There are a lot. Today I make a lettuce with the cauliflower. That's very nice. I put the lettuce at the bottom of the salad. Here I have a um, romaine leaves, you see. This is a small romaine. There is this kind of uh, romaine that has these smaller leaves. Okay. You, they're not big. Usually romaine is a little bit bigger. But you can you wash it. I put it onto the uh, you know, cutting board. Just um, with a cutting knife. Just some very simple stripes along the side. It's very gross, it doesn't really matter. You have to just to cut it down a little bit, bite size, that's all. And then it goes into the bottom of my salad. See? It's easy. And the romaine leaves, they have an advantage, they have taste nice, not too bitter, uh, like many other greens, and they are really bit firm. You have this little bit firm texture. That means you can't put some creamy dressing on top without making a mess. And now I have um, the variation for today's lettuce is red and yellow bell pepper, cut into small pieces, that fits to the cauliflower rice. Together with the rice, put the rice in right now. I like the rice or other cereals too, when you have a, on the bottom, you have um, leafy greens like this lettuce, and on the, on the top, you put some cauliflower rice or other cereal if you like. That makes a very nice um, harmony for the nutrients if you eat a salad. Yeah. Um, it makes it for a complete meal. And it's a nice way to vary uh, cauliflower rice recipes. You just put them in salads. Endless variety. Here. Yeah. <laughs> this is cauliflower rice on top of the lettuce, of the lettuce and red and yellow bell pepper. And then now this, 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 the last triplet with completed with a handful of cashews again and a small red onion in cauliflower size, rice size pieces to make a little bit more confusion for the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, if you want to uh, emulate a rice, like feeling cooking, rice is so much fun. And you put the other pieces to similar size, so then the, the tongue has different experiences and doesn't relate it anymore to discriminating, oh, this is not rice, this is cauliflower. No, it will go away. <laughs> it's all you play with the mind and its capacity to think only one thought at the same time. With fully focus. So that's what I have now. All these wonderful ingredients, good variety. And now I go back to the dressing. One more blending, second blending. Let's see, the flavor is still good. Texture must be a little bit more ready. Yeah, it's perfect texture. One cup of water, that's, that's okay. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow, perfect. I could make a video from this dressing for a staple. Here you see this wonderful creaminess, that's on top. Perfect meal. This will really be my main meal for today. And there will be another one with fruit, maybe, presumably. <laughs> and if I then still am hungry, not so likely with this one, maybe a snack with a piece of cake or whatever. Handful of nuts. That's so easy. It's so easy to have a full day of vegan eating and be happy and satisfied. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, show that you like it. Give me a like. Subscribe and leave me on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. 
the, end, the inspiration is endless. You can do make your own recipes. If you go, it's very easy if you follow the take three method, for example, and you begin with small amounts of, in, of small numbers of ingredients, and then you change small things, and you always know what you're doing. You know always what you taste. Yeah, basically, you can make little changes without big surprises. And that's when you do that all the time, and then you have all kinds of recipes in the end. Just easy beginning. And if you find me also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, I'll be glad to see you there.